Hello everybody and happy holidays once again from Adam and developphp.com. And since quite a few people are requesting a full vector 3D Christmas scene tutorial in Fireworks, we will bang out a very short three-part series that covers the entire process from start to finish, beginning with creating this moon that you see in front of you, the star field, and the light reflective snowy surfaces on the land. Create new Fireworks document. To make mine 1000 by 550, yours can be any size for the particular purpose you have. Now I'm going to take a rectangle out first thing and I'm going to draw it into this space here to serve as my background color or the color of the sky. Now I can go into the color palette here and I'm going to change it to a blue, a very dark blue. Okay, now I'm going to hold down the shapes and grab the ellipse and I'm going to draw in my moon. I'm going to hold shift to make sure it stays symmetrical as I draw it out. Now this I'm going to give a gradient, a radial, and on the outer edge where it's dark blue, let's go and change that to some kind of like off-white color. Right about there looks good to me. Okay. And then in the center it's white, so that's good. And what I'm going to do is go down here to the texture and add the plaster, because plaster will give me the kind of texture I want for that. And if you want, you can go and give it a little bit of darker color on this edge where it's off-white and that will bring in that feature a little more so you can see a little bit more of the texture the more you darken that up now I'm just gonna hit my pointer tool I'm gonna select this item and I'm gonna drag its radial up to about this direction then with that item still selected I'm gonna give it a filter shadow and glow inner shadow and what we'll do is angle the inner shadow this way to where it's hitting from the bottom bring its depth up lure it right about there looks good to me and then bring down the opacity a little bit now with your moon selected still, let's give it a glow. So go to shadow and glow, glow, and make sure that's just a regular white. You can make it spread a little bit further out and blur it just a little bit more. Now I'm going to grab this background that we placed, this large rectangle that's the sky in the background. I'm going to give that a gradient as well to serve as kind of like the halo around the moon. So I'm going to give this a radial gradient, and where it's white, I'm going to change that to this blue. Okay, and then I can grab this point here to move the gradient where I want it to be. And I can also resize that. I'm going to bring this glow down just a little bit. It's a little bit too dominant. And that blue is actually a little bit too bright for me, so I'm going to bring that, bring the color of that down just a little bit. Make that a little bit darker. That's good right there. Now this inner shadow is a little bit much. I'm going to bring the opacity down on that just a little right there. Now we can draw in the star field. So what we'll do for that is just grab the brush tool. You can see I have it set to 1. I'm going to change that to... I'll start with 3. I'll make different sizes actually. So I'm going to just go ahead and dab here and there and everywhere. And it's going to make its own layer. So as you're painting, you don't have to worry about you painting that onto your moon or whatever. It's going to be its own layer, so if you want to sprinkle them evenly all over the place just like this, you can. Okay, now I'm going to change the size just a little bit down to 2 and sprinkle some of those in there. Those will be just a little bit smaller than the other ones. And then finally, I'll take it down to 1 and I'm going to bring my transparency down to about 40% and then click those in. Okay, now after putting in the little tiny star lights, that, then you have a nice evenly spread star field that has good field of depth to it because you put different size points on there. Okay, now let's hold down on the shapes tool and grab out the star symbol. You can hold shift while you drag it out. We're going to adjust the points to be only four points. Remove that plaster texture if you have that on there. And this radial, you're going to change that off white to solid white if you have the radial edge there. But you'll want to give this a radial gradient. And you'll want this outer edge opacity all the way down to zero. If it has an edge or stroke, remove that stroke. Now you'll want to pull this radius in to about like that, or whatever looks best to you. Then press Control C, Control V. And this one we're going to turn. You can rotate it by holding Shift. You can snap rotation angles. Rotate that one 45 degrees and then make its size just a little bit smaller. Put it back into the center there. 
Now what you can do is use one of these as little points of light where you want. Now let's see if I resize that. I should have a little point of light kind of star looking thing. See that? That's what you want. Now this one, you also want a few like this. I'm going to actually make that one in the center a little bit smaller. Just so it doesn't look so repetitive with only that kind of star light. So let's select this star, hold shift, select that star, and press control G to group those two together. You see that? And now let's just resize that. Hold shift to make sure it stays in proportion. Let's see what that looks like. That's beautiful. Now what you can do is take that. You can really zoom in on it by holding control and mouse wheeling. You can take that, control C, control V, make a copy, move it over a little, and scale it up just a little bit. Make it a little bigger than the other one. And you can place those anywhere you like. I'll put this one over here somewhere. So what I'll do is use the variation of those three and sprinkle those around just to give my sky a little more of a twinkling effect. Okay, so what you should be left with after that is a brilliant twinkling star field behind your moon. Now let's draw in some blankets of snow. So you can grab the pen tool, just click down here somewhere, and you be creative as you like to here. You just make some little lumps. Make it a little bit lumpy. And I hope I don't have to show you people how to use your pen tool. Let's change the gradient from radial to ellipse. And what we'll do is use this elliptical gradient to serve as a spot where the moonlight would be kind of reflecting off of the snow. So let's adjust the size of that. Let's bring that in just a little bit. Let's move it over here for now. Just right there. I'm going to make this where it's dark just a little bit lighter. Okay. And this blue gradient highlight, I want that to be white. So I'm going to change that to white. I'm going to keep it over here for now. And then I'm going to give this an inner shadow. Inner shadow. I'm going to make that white. I'm going to make the angle on it 270 so it's pointing straight down. And then I can give that some spread and some fade. Now I definitely don't want that at 47. So let's put it right about there and bring the opacity down just a little bit. <clears throat> now I can play with this to give me the exact sort of moon reflection that I want on that surface. So I can drag this out a little bit and once I bring this down, let's see what happens. I don't want it so wide there. And you can position that any way you want. So if your moon's right there, you just drag that straight down like that. Actually, I don't want it to go so deep. Be right like that. Now I'll use my pen tool to make another one. So let's grab the pen tool and just draw in a wavy shape that'll be like your your land. Put it over here where it should go. And then this one needs the inner white shadow as well. So we'll go to inner shadow. We'll make that white. And this one we want to be a little bit of a flatter surface or a flatter blanket of snow, not so much of hills. So we'll spread this gradient a little bit further than we did on the other one. Now I can adjust this to make it look just the way I want it to. Now I've decided that I want these hills to be just a little bit lighter. So I'm going to go into the gradient for that. And change those to just a slightly lighter blue. Now what I'll do is just make these little gradients kind of match. You see my halo around the moon? It has a diameter sort of like that. You see it? So I'll just make these little guys match that. See that? See how it meets up now? And this one the same thing. Right about there. And then you'll have a more genuine looking reflection on your snow. And this one I'm going to bring up just a little bit this point. So I want there to be a nice big hill right there. There we go. That's a good start. 